welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video on my foundations. I did have someone request a video on foundations and the types of foundations that I use and my skin type. So I'm going to briefly go over some of the foundations that I own. And yes, yeah, so I'm going to do that right now. So before I start, uh, I do want to clarify what kind of skin type I have. I, so I do have combination skin. I do have areas in my face that are dry. And I do have areas in my face that are oily. So typically the oily part is my T-zone and dry parts are around my face. But my skin I feel is a bit dehydrated. So sometimes I want to use a foundation that is moisturizing or a foundation that is hydrating. Or at times I want to use a foundation that is matte. Um, during the summer, obviously, I use foundations that are matte, and during the winter time and like fall time, I use foundations that are more dewy and more hydrating to the skin. Okay, so foundations that I use right now are the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I have it in the shade Mid Medium to Santa Fe, which is the sun, and I have it in the shade Fiji Light 5. So... Right now, I don't know if you guys can see, but this one's more yellow than this one. I did use this one before. Um, they color matched me, and it color matched me wrong, because I do have more of a yellow undertone than a pinky undertone. So, I typically use this one more often. This is um, Fiji Light 5. During the winter time and fall time, my skin is very pale. I get ready, like, my whole entire body gets pale. So, I like using this one. This is in Light 5. And when I'm much darker, like right now, I'm still a little bit darker, because the summer just ended here in California so I do use medium too ever since I mix them together just to get a little bit more of that yellow undertone so NARS Trudeau is amazing very hydrating full coverage and I just love it I bought, I've bought like one of these before I had the shade what's the shade I had the shade Punjab and I had finished the entire bottle and then I went back to get another color but they matched me with this one and it was wrong so I have to get another one, which is this one, and sometimes I mix this together, or sometimes I mix this one with other foundations. Like, sometimes I'll mix this one with the Madame Portis foundation by Maybelline. This is one of my favorite ones during the summer, because this makes you matte, completely matte. This makes you completely matte. I really, really love this during the summer. Um, it has a matte finish, and this does have, like, a dewy finish. So, if you are, like, dry... Um, this would be a perfect foundation for you, and if you are oily throughout the whole year, then this would be a good one for you as well. And this is like six bucks. This is probably like forty dollars. I'll leave the I'll leave the prices to these products down below on the description box. So yeah, Nars Sugar is my favorite during the colder months. The next foundation that I love using during the winter time is the Lancome Tint Miracle Foundation. This gives you a dewy finish. This is in the shade Biff. Not Biff. <laughs> this is in the shade Buff 6W240. And this is very, very light for me. So I tend to mix this in with different foundations. So I love mixing this one in with my Kat Von D foundation. I have it in the shade Light 49. But this seems more like medium instead of light. Um, this is too, too dark for me. So I tend to mix them both together since this is really full coverage. This one's more like medium sheer coverage. So I love mixing these two together to get my preferred coverage. And yeah, so I just love this. Uh, I just put it in the back of my hand both. I put like two pumps for this one and like a half a pump of this one. And mix it together. And if I notice, I'll go like this and see if it matches my face and my neck. And if it's still too dark, I add a little bit more of the Tint Miracle. And then I'll just like mix it together again and dot it on my face and blend it out with a beauty blender or like a flat top brush from Sigma or whatever brushes you have. So yeah, I love these two together. Next I have the EX1 foundation. This is in the shade F200. And this is a great foundation if you have yellow undertones. Um, I feel like this one is a bit too dark for me at the moment. Well, maybe it blends in nicely, but it's a little bit too dark for me. And again, I like mixing my foundations just because a lot of the times... During the change of months, in months, um, my skin changes, so I don't want to buy a new foundation because it's a lot of money, and so I like to mix in foundations. So if this is too dark, I like mixing in my Tint Miracle Lancome foundation that I showed you guys. I like mixing this one with any of the foundations that I have, or mixing it in with the Madame Poreless, depending if I want more of a matte finish or dewy finish. Um, if I have a dewy foundation, I tend to use this one to kind of mattify it a bit. And if I have more of a matte finish, like the Kat Von D one, I tend to use this one. So yeah, this is a really good foundation if you have that yellow undertone. Um, if you have more of a pinky undertone, this would not work that well because 
This foundation is meant for people who have yellow to olive undertones. If you have trouble looking for yellow tone foundations, I would look up the uh, X, X1 foundations. I think they are in England. I don't know for sure about this from a, from a person online, but uh, I think they do sell this in England, so yeah. I'll bring it to me like this. And this is a pretty cheap foundation. Um, and yeah. The next two foundations um, are one of my favorite ones to like have on a daily basis, no matter if I'm oily, dry, whatever. This is the Double Wear Foundation from Estee Lauder. This is in the shade 2N1 Desert Beige. And this is how it looks like. It does not come with the pump. I added the pump from one of my primetime um, primers from, um, what's it called? From Bare Minerals. So yeah, it does not come with the pump, but if you can find a pump for it, I uh, highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, the Double Wear Foundation it could be used during any time of the year. I love using this. This is my all-time favorite foundation for any time of year. Whether I'm dry, oily, whatever, I love using this one. It's super high coverage. It covers every single imperfection you have in your face. It doesn't settle into fine lines. I just highly recommend this one. Also, I love using the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. This is in the shade NC20. And yeah, I go all the way down to an NC20 during the winter because I get very pale and just pale. So NC20 by MAC, it's a really great foundation. Again, if you are of a pink undertone, you want to use NW. So NC is more cool toned, yellow tone, and NW in MAC is more warm tone um, foundations and more pinky. So you want to use NW for pink and NC for yellow tones. So yeah, NC20 for MAC. And the Estee Lauder Double Wear are my favorite all year round. I find that this one kind of um, crumbles around my nose a bit. But if you set it with like Fix Plus or your Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, um, this will last and look, that little nastiness will go away. So yeah, if you have that trouble with any foundation, like it kind of like breaks apart around your nose, try using the setting spray. And sometimes, most of the time, it will come off and like blend in nicely with your skin. Next I have my all-time favorite L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. I've used this in every video. I just love this foundation. I have it in the shade 104. It's almost done. 104 Golden Beige. No. Yeah, Golden Beige. And I have it in the shade... Oh yeah, same one. Oh, yeah. I have it in the shade 107 as well. I, had, I would use 107 when I was really, really dark during the summer. But I still use 104. 104 is a tad bit too dark for me at the moment. Um, it's a bit too, it looks too light on camera, but in person it's too dark for me. So I tend to mix this in with the Madame Poreless Foundation. Both are a match made in heaven because both are mattes. So it really stays into your skin and you don't have to worry about like... Um, your oils coming seeping through the foundation. Yeah, I love the foundation. You can see it's a little bit too dark for me. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe you can't. I don't know. But to me, it's a bit too dark for me at the moment. So I tend to mix it in with a different foundation. Again, you can always mix foundations. It's up to you. Um, I do that because my shade just changes periodically and it's really annoying. So I have to mix foundations in. So if you don't want to do that, you could do that as well. And the last foundation, well, it's more of a BB cream, but it is the worst product I've ever used in my life. Like, do not get it. I highly not recommend this. I do not recommend this whatsoever. This is the Napoleon Purtis Autopilot BBB Cream. And this was on sale at Ulta for like 8 bucks, and I got it because I remember trying it one time at Nordstrom. And I liked how it looked, but when I got outside, well, when I went outside, it, I looked orange. This is in the shade medium dark, and this is a high a hybrid of an HD foundation and a BB cream. So it's a BBB cream, <laughs> but I'm gonna show you guys right now. It just it is a orange, orange on your face. If you have an orange tan, maybe it'll look nice. But once it dries down, it turns orange like. I have no idea why it does that. And it has a very strong scent to it. But I don't know. It's just 
orange. Like, you can't see it right now. It gives super orange. I look like an Oompa Loompa when I wear it. I, I do not recommend this Napoleon Purtis product. I've never used any of his products besides this one. So I'm kind of scared to use his products now because this was such a fail. But I don't know if you guys have ever tried Napoleon Purtis. Let me know if you liked any of his products because, yeah, this is a total fail. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't know if you guys. This camera is doing no good. Okay, it's drying down in the sides right here. Can you see that? It's kind of getting orange. It gets orange. Orange. I don't know why. I hate this product. I'm probably going to throw it away. I tried mixing it in with different foundations and it still turns orange. Don't know why. But yeah. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions on the foundations that I did mention, please don't forget to leave it down below. I will answer any questions you guys have. I just want to do this fast video to show you guys my foundation collection. Um, if you guys want to do more in-depth video on them, like, I don't know, the finishes and I don't know, if you guys want to see it on my face, let me know and I will do something like that for you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!